Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to continue on with our inspection or our object inspection system. Um, so in the last video, uh, this is where we got to, right? We can make it zoom in, but we can't make it rotate yet. So that's what we're going to do now. All right. So back in our uh, first-person character here, um, we're going to go ahead and locate the mouse input. Okay. So I'm going to delete that comment box just for now and move it out here so we have some space to work with. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, that Boolean that we created, this is inspecting, and we're going to use that to determine if we should be able to um, kind of, you know, look around, um, so, so add this yaw and pitch input, or if we should be, you know, rotating uh, our object. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll drag out, type make a branch, okay, and we'll do the same down here, I'll just copy and paste that. Um, but we're going to plug the false into this, all right? into both of these. So plug in the false, hold alt click to break a link. Okay. And now uh, for the condition, we'll take our is inspecting, plug that in. And there we go. Okay, cool. So next we're going to create the functions um, off of the true here that will allow us to uh, either pitch or rotate our object. So let's go ahead and create those functions. We'll create the first one here, and we'll just call this turn, um, turn inspection object. All right. So this one, we're going to add an input to it that we will just call value, I guess, and we'll change its um, variable type to float. So compile and save that really quick. All right. Now, basically, the end goal here is we want to take our inspection object and we want to set. Um, his rotation. Okay, so we're going to say set actor rotation. Okay, so now how do we determine what rotation we want to set? All right, that's the next thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag off a new rotation here, and we're going to type combine rotators um, because we're going to combine two different rotations. The first one is um, we're going to take our inspection object again. We're going to say get actor rotation. Okay, then we're going to plug this into A. And now um, for the B, right, the B is whatever rotation that we're going to add um, onto the, I guess, base rotation. Okay, so what we'll do for B is drag off and say make rotator. Just do a make rotator like that. And we're going to take uh, our value here and we're going to actually multiply it by a, f um, multiply it by a float. And we'll take the value and make it negative one. So we're just going to kind of inverse it, I guess. All right. So we can compile and save. Oops. Go back here. And so this is what the function should look like. Oh, my bad. I keep clicking things accidentally. All right. So now that we have um, our turn done, we're going to basically do the same exact thing except for the pitch. Okay. So we'll add another function. Call this pitch inspection object. All right, do the same thing for the inputs here, add a new one, just call it the value. All right, and we can actually go back to our turn inspection object and basically take all of this, um, except for the uh, multiplication here, because we don't need to do it. And we just uh, control C to copy it, go back here to our pitch inspection object function, and control V to paste it. All right, hook this up. Now all we need to do is take the value, and instead of plugging it into the yaw, we plug it into the pitch. And just like that, it should be working. Okay, so we'll close everything for now. Um, now what we'll do is just drag these functions in. So we'll take our turn inspection object, put it up here next to the input axis turn. So plug in true. And then for the value, we'll connect it to our axis value. All right. We'll do the same thing down here. So for look up, we're going to use pitch, plug this in and hook up the axis value to that value. So compile and save really quick. All right, so now um, if we go ahead and press play, right, we'll go find our inspection object. Here it is. And if I hit E, right, it zooms in. And now when I rotate my mouse, you'll see that it rotates. All right, so here's our, you know, our turn. Here's our pitch, all right? Um, so yeah, that's really just all you have to do. Um, and then when you hit E, it'll take its rotation, you know, whatever its current rotation was. So we have something like this, and it will rotate it back to be its regular position. 
All right, so that's how you do it. Um, very simple as you can see. Um, and I guess right now we might as well add it for the gamepad as well. So we'll go ahead and take our, you know, just the stick input stuff here. And we'll do the same exact thing pretty much. Take all this, copy and paste it up here. We'll hook up the turn right like so. Okay, just gonna move this a little bit. Plug in false to the add controller yaw. Oops. Plug this into value. Do kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, and then we'll do the, oops. Man, I just keep clicking the wrong stuff. My bad, guys. Um, then we'll take the pitch one. Again, copy and paste it up here. Plug this in. Plug in false. Hook up value to here. Move everything into position so it looks kind of nice. And there we go. Oh my gosh, I keep doing it. And there we go. Okay. So there we have it. There's our... You know our gamepad input. Here's our mouse input, and that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you liked the video, like or subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.